COVID-19 is having an impact on the way people drink in central Indiana. This is all especially tough on those in recovery. RTV6 reporter Kara Kenny joins us now with takeaways on what you could be looking out for. Liquor stores are open, people are isolated at home, and they're stressed and bored. Experts say that can cause some people to drink too much. Alex is an alcoholic. He's been sober for 20 years. If it weren't for recovery, I would be dead today, I'm sure. We're not showing you his face because he works for Alcoholics Anonymous. He says now is a rough time for people to stay sober because almost all AA meetings have been moved to virtual meetings rather than in person. There's stress. It's a lot of people, especially uh, newer folks in recovery, struggle when they're isolated. And uh, this is what is happening right now everywhere. Alex says COVID-19 creates an atmosphere that encourages people to drink more than they normally do. You know, I hear so many jokes and whatnot about, oh, let's have a drink today, we're home with the kids, you know. And, and I guess that's funny, but it's not funny if you can't stop with one. So how do you know if there's an issue? Some red flags, if you need a drink to make it through the day, if your drinking is impacting your job or your relationship, or if family and friends mention you should cut back. At this time of social distancing, it's very important to use technology to our benefit. So there are various ways that someone can seek treatment without being face to face. Don't let this um, time of social distancing um, allow you to be isolated and to feel that you're alone. You can reach out to your health care provider, call a hotline, or contact AA. AA is having some meetings in person, but the meetings are limited to the number of people who can attend and people distance from each other. The biggest thing is if you suspect you have a problem, talk to someone. We've included a list of resources in this story on the RTV6 app. Reporting in Indianapolis, Kara Kenny, RTV6. Kara, thank you. According to Nielsen, sales of booze jumped 55% in the third week of March compared to the same time last year. Ready to drink cocktails like spiked lemonades or canned gin and tonics grew the most, seeing a 106% jump in sales.